everybody. We are here at Capcom Suite at CES, and I am sitting here with Seth Killian, who has been taking us through Street Fighter 4, and you're going to see those movies on the site very shortly, but you have something cooler to show us, right? Uh, I do. Yeah, these are our brand new Street Fighter 4 sticks. Um, we've got a fighting pad, or a fight pad, a fight stick, and a tournament edition fight stick. So, something for everyone. Now it has been a, a long, painful time for a bunch of folks in the states that have been looking for sticks. So what are the what is special about these? Because you know we've all bought some and we've all been very upset that <laughs> they haven't really worked. Yeah, no, the stick market in the U.S. has been not so good. Uh, but I really think this is we got a really special chance to work very closely with some very talented people over at Mad Cats and. Uh, I gotta honestly say, after building sticks and playing on homemade sticks and buying, I, I think I own over 60 joysticks. I think this is the best you're gonna see. So I'd be happy to take you through some of the features because it's it's fantastic. All right, well, run us through like an order, I guess, of convenience. You've got these tiny ones, right? Okay, yes, this is our, our fight pad and uh, definitely inspired by some of our fond memories of playing on a nice pad on some old Sega systems. Uh, and we've tried to sort of recreate some of that feel so you get a lot more tactile feel uh, on the nice floating D-pad. You've got the mouse click, sort of right shoulder, shoulder buttons very quick, and of course uh, all the buttons are right on the face, so you've got the full six buttons right on the face. You don't have to use your triggers or anything like that to try and get the full range of street fighting action. So there's a lot more feel on the pad, and you can really feel it move from one side to the other and really tell your directions. No mushiness here, so I think this is going to be great for anybody that likes to play on a pad and wants to really get serious about fighting games. And just so we can show people, you had a Chun-Li pad, this is Blanca, I see Rue over there. So how many types of these? Five types, and um, right now, so we've got Rue, Chun-Li, Blanca, Akuma, and Ken. And so these, um, I'm assuming, are going to be on the, the lower end of the, of the cost spectrum. So move us up one more step. Coming up next, if you want to take your game to the next level, we've got the Fight Stick. And this is really a fantastic basic product. So uh, I think the other things that you might have had a chance to play on, this is really a cut above, both in terms of part quality and um, in terms of features. So some of the features that are replicated on the Fight Stick, as well as the higher end one, which I'll talk about in a minute, is basically... I always say these sticks aren't made of magic, but they're just put together a little more thoughtfully than any of the rest of the products. So we've got little things like the start and select button, start and back button are off the face of the stick, so they're on the top other than the face. So if you get dizzy and you're trying to mash your way out of it, uh, you're never going to accidentally hit start in a tournament match or online or anything like that. We've got the 8 button layout rather than just the 6, and even the 8 button layout is, is a little bit clever. If you like the Japanese sort of splayed button style, the inner 6 are sort of splayed. The outer sticks, if you choose to like that, are straight across like American style sticks. So uh, really you get both for the price of one. Um, we've also got a full set of turbo functions up here, as well as a little switch to disable the home button and all the turbo buttons. So you don't, again, you don't accidentally hit anything. And it's a really nice solid stick, it's got a nice feel to it, and these are really nice quality parts that I think will provide like a really good experience for anyone that wants to take the game to the next level. And if you have a lot of money to burn and you want to if you want to go nuts, uh, what do you got? That would be the Tournament Edition Fight Stick, and this, this is made of a little bit of magic. So basically it shares a lot of the same advantages of the basic Fight Stick in terms of the button layout, but what we've got here is the top of the line Senwalk parts. This is exactly what you'll find in the arcade machine, so it doesn't get any better than this. Actually, this is better than the arcade machine because you've got eight buttons instead of six, uh, as well as, of course, you've got the f full turbo functionality and the disabler switch. You've got the start and select off the face. There's cord storage here in the back. Um, so you can keep your cord out of the way, and then that's built in there. Um, so really this is the shape of the case and the bevel is all recreates the arcade cabinet again exactly. And it's a nice heavy package. And another fun feature for complete psychopaths like myself is the feet, which are great feet and will hold you in place. But if you really want it to never move, what you can do is actually you can unscrew the feet and there are holes on the bottom that you can drill it in to uh, anything. So that's what I've got. My coffee table at home as a little, um, you know, it looks like a passable coffee table, polite company, but then there's four little screw holes mysteriously there. And so when I, by myself, I pull out the stick and I can bolt it down and it doesn't move. It's completely stable and solid. Um, so that's just what's going on on the outside of the stick. The inside of the stick also has uh, some sexy features. So I've got one that I've, I've opened up over here. Thanks. Um, 
So all the great stuff on the outside. Then the inside, which of course you won't really, yeah, I'll just take you through some of this. So if you lose a button, um, but you don't know anything about how to use a soldering gun or anything like that, you can just pull the pinouts off, swap the button out, replace a button, or if you just want to change a button or maybe you want different colored buttons, really easy. So this is basically the most modifiable stick that you'll ever see. So everything is not only hot swappable, that's what we call it. <laughs> uh, you can just pull it in, plug it in. Um, we've also gone the extra mile by actually labeling the pinouts here. So the X button is labeled X, left bumper, on down the line. So you can really, even if you know nothing about a stick or never modified a stick before, I've been doing this for a lot of years, but uh, you, can, you can do it the first time you ever open the case. We've also got a universal, what's called a universal mounting plate here underneath the joystick. So if you prefer like a heavier ball style American stick, but you're interested in the other great features on this, you could buy this and then swap in a ball stick on your own. Even if you don't know anything about it, you just screw it off and then swap in a new stick and we board out the bottom so it will fit any size stick on the market. So whatever you like, this can be the home for the ultimate Street Fighter experience. And uh, yeah, I, I love it. Very nice. Now, what we've seen right now are box our sticks for the Xbox 360. Uh, will these also be available for PS3? They are, and they're all the same great features. So, full support for all the PS3 features, and same great stick on both systems. Well, these would seem to be kind of an important thing to own now because of Street Fighter HD, but they're not out, so when can we get them? You'll be getting them. They'll be coming into stores. You can pre-order them now, but they'll be coming into stores right around the same time as the game launch. And uh, if you are interested in one of these, I suggest the pre-order because they didn't make that many. And uh, I want they're going to be going fast, I think. All right, well, there you go. There is some magic for you to, to purchase later this year and also improve your Street Fighter games. So there you go. Thank you, Seth. Thank you. And that is just some of the stuff here at CES. We're going to be doing a lot more, so keep checking with us.